Oh. <laughs> 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 wow. This is my buddy Derek. He's a professional Valorant player, and if you don't know what that is, it looks like this. Oh my god! But when he's not gaming, he's a pretty big car enthusiast, so today we're gonna be installing a giant wing on his car. Wow. Man, those are sick fenders, dude. Oh, this guy yeah. named Caleb's made some. He's my great friend. Ups, ups, ups. <laughs> Yo. Damn. Damn. Oh, you got the center caps too. Yeah. Wow, that looks great. This is sick. So Derek, Derek's got the rare side skirts. Best fenders in the world. T37. These are really cool. They're like uh, limited edition color. And then various front lip. Oh, by the way, I have something for you. What? Yeah. Since you're such a Varus fanboy, oh, no. straight from Japan. What? Yeah. Thank you. What is this? What? Oh my god. And it's blue, yeah, of course. Yeah, straight from Fuji Speedway. Thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. I caught them last minute. I was just like, wait, let when me I, get something. Would I message you? Yeah. Oh my god, thanks man. Appreciate it. Okay, so today, we're gonna be adding a lot more Varus stuff to his car. Yeah. So we're gonna go from like subtle street clean spec to pricey street hot boy. Hot boy. Yeah, hot boy spec. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, Derek, this wing's too small. All right, so we're gonna be showing you guys how to install this Varus wing. It should be pretty simple, but um, I don't know, famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> it's dark out, it's dark out in the next show. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like 2 a.m. <laughs> Our glass base plate. Carbon wing stands, these are pretty nice. Usually they're made out of like aluminum or something, but carbon ones are sick. Hardware kit, trim kit, instructions, and plates. Carbon wing. Yes sir, where are my decals at man? Oh yeah. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do for this install is we're gonna take a flathead or trim removal tool and then pop off these two covers here, here. Behind these two, you'll see a Phillips head, so you just take out those screws. And then you'll also need to unclip this like, kidnap-proof wire thing. <laughs> the emergency kidnap. Yeah. Um, so once all that's off, this whole section will just, you just pull it off. It's just clipped in. Just take trim tool, slip it under the cover. So you got these things off. And those are the Phillips screws that you need to take off. This one, and that one. Oh, actually, no, Phil, it's a Torx. Wait, what? Yours is different. Oh. Wait, yours is 2021? 22. 22. Oh, that's different. They changed it. Okay. So on my 2020, you have Phillips heads here. But I guess on the. Change, yeah. <laughs> but I guess on the 2022 is Torx. I don't know. So we got the uh, child safety. Amber alert fucking safety thing it. off. And then you're not putting it back on. <laughs> He's got nefarious plans. <laughs> but yeah, now we can just pull this whole cover off. Derek's already nervous. <laughs> we didn't even drill it yet. No, we didn't drill it yet. <laughs> yeah, just work around the perimeter and kind of pop all those clips out. So sometimes this happens, um, it's okay, they're just plastic clips. You don't really need to replace it if it's just like one or two, but if you really care, you can uh, just go get it Toyota, yeah. I'm already breaking Derek's car. Oh, <laughs> okay, so next step is we're going to be... Wait, what the hell? Yeah, this is different. So, okay, so you're missing a screw here. I really did get a rep car. <laughs> well, I mean like... Toyota, so yeah, so my 2020 it's screw here, screw here, and then you know two screws there. But this one just has one screw. You know what? It's probably for cost savings. They really did run out of hardware. They're like, yeah, they're this is the last one on the last. Like it's really late. They're, they're like, we need to get this shit out. <laughs> just put it back together. So I think this is a T25 as well. I'll see. But these are just torque screws. You're gonna want to take all these out, and this will hang down, opening up the uh, underside, which is the spot that we need to drill. Through. Oh, just for clarification, the size socket you need for these bolts is T20. 
So you have T25 for this one and T20 for these ones. Also, if anyone knows what these are, let me know. So next, we're gonna put this supplied like felt or weather strip. And I believe it goes along this like indented area right here. There's one here, there's one here. So we're gonna be laying this down. You just peel it off and stick it on. So we have the base plate with the felt. I haven't taken off the white paper yet because we're gonna line everything up on the trunk like so. And then uh, we're gonna just take some reference measurements and then center it. Once it's centered, I'm gonna tape it down and then we'll uh, mark out the holes and drill. And then there's no going back. There's no... <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have the base plate all centered. I'm going to show you guys the uh, like reference points I use to center the base plate. Um, if you guys come up with better ones, let me know, but uh, these are the ones I used. So we measured from this corner right here on the trunk to the corner of the base plate here. Same with the other side, this point to this bottom point. So basically make sure those are the same. And then for the top, we measured from goddamn clear. The point of the heat line to the edge of the base plate here. Same for this one. Point of the heat line to the edge of the base plate right here. So I have the base plate centered, marked out the holes, and uh, we're gonna start drilling. It's time. <laughs> it's time, Derek. Oh, yes. Okay, I got it. Shit. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, don't do it. Wait, wait, wait. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, wait, no. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. Easy. No. You could spit on it. Lube it up. No, I'm good. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. That'll do it. <laughs> you're, you're like looking at it. <laughs> what am I doing? Do a salvage now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, so oh, we were sorting out the hardware and trying to figure out which hardware goes where. where. And uh, the instructions weren't really clear, so I'm going to tell you guys uh, which bolts go where. Just to make your guys' lives easier. I know, I know. Thank me later. Thank me later. <laughs> so, for the base plate, you're gonna use the M8 countersunk uh, bolts with these uh, M8 nuts. These are not the nylon ones. The nylon ones you use for the stands. You're also gonna have the eight foam washers. And you're also gonna have the countersunk washers that go on top of the base plate. And these ones go here, 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 there, there, there. Next, you have the bottom of the stand. So the top bolts for the stands and the bottom bolts for the stands are different. So on the bottom bolts, there are the larger M8 size with the nylon locking nuts. And the, this portion of the stand, the bottom of the stand, is what bolts the, the top of the base plate here. And the top of the stand uses a M6 bolt and nut. Then you're gonna use four M6 bolts for the end plates. You got the holes drilled out. Depressed, questioning his decision, Derek. And now we're gonna put the bolts into the base plate. So you can see how we have the bolts to the bottom with the washer and the leather foam piece on the other side of the bolt. And yeah, misspoke earlier. This is not weather stripping. These two are actually 3M. I guess it's to help prevent the base plate from shifting around. Okay, so we have the base plate bolted in. I'm gonna show you guys how we did the bottom side. So Varus, under per their instructions, it's just a nut. Um, now I'm not sure how secure this is gonna be, but I don't know if it's good enough for Varus, then I guess it's good enough for us. <laughs> we'll, we'll, figure, we'll figure it out, man. Uh, so the base plate is all secured. We have the bottom. All buttoned up with all the OEM stuff back in. Pretty solid. Uh, next, we're gonna bolt in the stands. Uh, finally, the wing. Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh, oh, it'll be a little higher if we pull it. That was real hot boy. Oh, <laughs> this guy had one job. What was that? You didn't put it in sideways, did you? No. What was that? What do you think? Not as good as Saber Designs, obviously, but like... <laughs> I mean, he's kind of right. <laughs> Not <in> this game! <laughs> Damn, that looks pretty sick. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh Dude, it my com it like, god. It like completes the car. Yeah, you have the actually. Ver the Varus front lip. Wow. Right there. <laughs> oh yeah. I know, I'm a I'm a tourist. <laughs> 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 